Mm, well, we had uh, one employee that left, and uh, the accumulated leave that we had to pay him was uh, about 70 grand. 70 grand. Yeah. Annual leave lump sum payouts, annual COLA for off-island residents, night differentials for GovGuam agencies that provide 24-hour services. It's an interesting list of items that looks much like a summary of recent OPA audits which have highlighted wasteful GovGuam spending. Leave sharing is among the practices cited. Another employee who has excess leave will, will donate to, to that particular employee, so the person that's out will continue to get paid while they're out. And, um, and that costs go well, lots of money. It, it has cost, the, it's costing the government a lot of money because it's, it's very broad right now, and, and uh, I think there's, you know, like what the OPA has, has stated that's been abused. So, so those are areas that, that we're, we're looking at. Paternity leave is another generous benefit that is being eyed. Paternity leave uh, right now, it's very de generous. Uh, How long is it? It's a month. Full pay? Full pay, of course. How much does that cost, Cut Guam? A lot? Um, I have not quantified it, but, but it's certainly something that, that should be looked at, too, because, you know, you can, you can give, give a couple days, but probably not a whole month. And the Guam Fire Department's generous benefits, which pay the average fireman more than $70,000 a year, also on the chopping block. According to the OPA audit, the, um, we, we were looking, we, we could save, if we could save about a minimum of about 1.7 million? Up, million, upwards to 3 million. If, if, uh, by uh, adjusting this? By adjusting the non-productive leave requirement with GFD. The governor's communications director, Troy Torres, says it's important to address these issues first before considering layoffs. These first before layoffs. Oh, yes. They were, we want to exhaust options before touching personnel. That's, personnel that, that's, is last. Personnel is last, of course, because you're affecting people's entire incomes. But cutting or eliminating some of the current benefits enjoyed by GovGuam employees will require legislative approval. Can you put a timeline on some of these changes that are under consideration? Uh, not right now, because we have to first decide what is going to change. But uh, let's let's just go. Let's just be hypothetical about it, and we, uh, and some of these are things that w will be either eliminated or reduced. A lot of these things require the legislature to change laws, and we just we have no idea how long senators will take or whether they will even adopt it. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.